and obviously it's the you know we're still in the new year obviously we've passed the happy new year stage well and truly but obviously a lot of uh, people would have um, resolutions around losing weight or you know staying healthy or whatever um, and I, um, I came across this other story about intermittent fasting for weight loss and obviously there's various different ways you can do it you know whether it's like time restricted or um you know or like say within a day or maybe you um eat less on two days and eat the rest on the other five days or you do like a you know a, a 16 10 type thing where you um eat for 10 hours but you don't eat for the other 16 there's all different permutations of that but it's interesting um that um you know it, it comes back down to um you know consuming fewer calories than we burn um so if, so if you do um i don't know if you take um the um you know you only eat between midday and 6 p.m um and you don't eat the rest of the time that alone is not going to do it if um you you know have about six pizzas in that um uh in that six hour window or um have lots of uh dessert or whatever that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it so um you have to really think about how you're doing it and obviously um there's a component of exercise in there as well although obviously what you eat is probably the most important thing because um you know um that's going to contribute to that but you know you got to think about it very carefully um in terms of how you do it oh you well you do i just find it quite funny that people seem to think that somehow uh you could lose weight potentially by um not consuming less calories than you burn it's just uh it's it's the laws of physics we've just been talking about for the ancient egyptians and ancient greeks it's it's basically what goes in if if it's not coming out then uh it's going on and and what i think is most interesting about uh the whole concept of dieting or fasting when they talk about calories is people just tend to think about it on a day-to-day basis. Oh, you know, I'm not going to eat more than 1,500 calories today or 800 calorie maximum today. But actually, the real the real way you have to think about it is over the course of a week. So you have to calculate what calories you'll burn in the course of a week and then basically match your, I guess, calorie intake. And you can do that by intermittent fasting or just restriction or just not eating or whatever you want to term it so that at the end of the week you've actually consumed less calories rather than in one day. I mean, obviously it will work on a day-to-day basis, but the idea that um, somehow that it comes down to a day, it's actually it's actually scalable. So over time, and, and you could work it theoretically, you know, over the course of a month, you know, uh, and, and that's where this comes from. And if you do it, then, uh, you know, generally you'll feel much better, much healthier, and uh, the weight will come off. Hmm. And I'm a, and also there's a component of picking the right foods to eat as well. So, you know, foods that probably satiate you for longer, you know, like, you know, eating a piece of salmon might do that for you, not six donuts, for instance. Um. <laughs> <laughs> six donuts would be more filling. But I guess, you know, the thing is, is it's really – when, when you start to look at it on a week-by-week week basis, for instance, then it becomes about lifestyle and it becomes about, you know, what do you eat exactly as you're saying over that week to achieve all the things that you want to achieve through your diet. And that can be health, it can be pleasure, it can include all of those things when you look at it over a week. If you just talk about, well, I'm not going to eat anything on Wednesdays and Fridays, that's uh, not much to look forward to, is it? And uh, <laughs> yeah, isn't it a, isn't it a habit forming thing as well? Like you don't want to like um, because because there's even psychological component of it too. Because you don't want to feel like you're denying yourself because that's going to sabotage your psychological approach to it. And, and that's why we talk about lifestyle. So the idea is is that you want to have a lifestyle that looks like this for food. And you know you might have the one day where you do eat your six donuts if you can fit that in under your calorie limit. <laughs> You know, the other thing is, is that, you know, people uh, struggle, I think, you know, with fasting a lot of the time because they feel hungry. But once you learn that hunger and learn that routine, it's it's actually not that difficult. But it's a lifestyle change because if really all you want to do is eat food and lots of it and the wrong foods, then um, you don't really want to change. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all those combinations, all those things that, uh, they tell you about when it comes to dieting and um, yeah but you just got to eat less <laughs> that's the key 